Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions here on the Bond channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. Um, I hope your holidays were fine or your holiday was fine, yes. I hope you had a nice time with family and friends. Alright, um, today we are still going to continue on the application we reviewed last, that um, Solving Calculator. And you know, um, at Solving Solutions, we give you the best way to carry out your survey activities or let's say the easiest way to carry out your survey activities so as we went through the app we saw some other stuff we felt we should just share with you perhaps you've not seen it perhaps you've seen it all so let's look at it this way you know the area of a parcel is um, a very important activity in surveying you know you've gone to site you've acquired your data and then you want to know the extent covered so um, you can do that on so many other applications and you can also do that on this application so we are going to show you how you are on this application so you know otherwise you can just open your maybe your computer and then use autocad or maybe you do it manually and then you calculate it and then you get your extent however after this application or type it on this application and it will automatically give you what the area and it gives you the area in different units in square meters and square kilometer acres and the rest of that so without um, spending much time let's do what let's just start what we are going to do today so on the on the screen now you can see different tools so other tools we are going to tap on what on other two so we just tap on it so it takes us to this next interface and what we have area from xy we have what area from we want to do what we want to calculate area so we just tap on that as well good now this is the interface where you type your what you type your coordinates so if you look at it you see what the format with which the application will uh, uh, accept or yeah yeah the application accepts your input is in what in what what I just want to confuse. So what do I mean by that? If you draw your Cartesian, maybe if you just draw a perpendicular line, yeah, a line maybe two to particular point and line that goes from your left to your right. That's what I mean. Now the line that comes from the top to the part to a particular point at the center is the whereas that which goes from your left to your right is what is the eastern line i believe that explanation is very clear so if you want to miss your it just use that to do or to give you an explanation on how you go about it so i haven't explained that you know that your node runs from the top to the bottom are we together that means not south whereas your east to west so let's to left to the right so that's another hint with which you can distinguish between what your north and then the what and the east are we together good so i haven't said that you are going to input your values in what in y and x so how do you now maybe if your data acquisition system or maybe the tool you use the software maybe the application or whatever you use to acquire your data give you your data in eastern and northern and not x and y or maybe y and x as this case is how do you know which one is x how do you know which one is y and that was what i explained some minutes or let's say some seconds ago that your what your northern starts from the top down or let's say from the top to the center and then from the center down goes to your what to your south whereas your what your eastern starts from that center to your right or from the center to your left gives you what gives you your west so when they now say x and y the x is actually what the eastern whereas the y is what your northern are we together so when you see y and x what it simply means is that your northern comma your what your eastern so if you see x and y what they mean is what your eastern comma what your northern are we together good so we are going to impute it now we've actually typed it so we just what we just paste what we've typed and then we just uh, paste this stuff man we paste what we've typed and this is it are we together so the we are just five points and conventionally we have to 
tied the point we started with that is point one we had to close with it just to form the polygon so i haven't typed it maybe if you're typing it manually or you're copying it from one application and you want to paste it there just like we did i haven't done that it's just what you tap on what the equal to you tap on what the equal to now by the time you tap on the equal to you see the unit with which it is what it is giving you the the area we are on miles square so you come and then maybe if you want to use meter square you basically the coordinates are in meter so you appreciate it more in meter square so you see what we have um, 32398.10 watt meter squared so if you want to convert it to kilometer squared the same thing you see the unit or the value rather you want to convert it to acres you see the value there you want to convert it to what acres you see you also see the value there so i believe this will help you later to site you've acquired the data you have the x y maybe it's thin and dozen whatever the case is and you want to do what you want to know the extent so that you can just tell your client okay it's a particular plot maybe a particular so you just type the coordinates there maybe from wherever you imported it or exported it or as the case may be that's not for this particular video and you do what you paste it here and then you tap on the equal to it gives you the area in different units so you can see meter square kilometer squared am um, um, this may be so yeah that's the most you do on this video i believe now um the values here i will have to say this the values here as actually What do I mean by that? Maybe you are given an assignment and then you, you've used your manual method to calculate the area. Maybe cross coordinate or double latitude or double departure or whatever the case is. And you want to be sure that what you did was correct or what you did is right. What you have to do is just type in the values here and tap on that equal to and it will give you what the area of the or the extent covered. Yeah extent covered so if you give it the extent covered in different units so the values we are using here are actually values we've used manually yes manually so the link to that video will be on the description section i believe we've provided a solution to this particular problem and i believe you like this video so please um, give us a thumb up there um you know if you are just coming to the channel please subscribe to the channel if you're returning your thanks for coming back and then always ask them to what to always come back because something new would always be coming up and it's always be what it will always be interesting yeah thanks for coming to class 